Hello everybody, Abbott's Brother here. And I think I found the solution to Batman Arkham Knight on Intel Arc. Uh, and it was not anything Intel had to do. So I made a video in the past saying, come on guys, you got to fix the drivers for this. But I'm thinking, oh, I want to browse. I'm thinking this problem was a Windows problem and not a Batman problem. So I'm just showing you here, there is a file, dxgi.dll, that you have to download from Intel so the game will recognize your, uh, your GPU, otherwise the game won't even start. But the trick for Batman Arkham Knight on Intel Arc, I have to go Windows uh, Security. You have to add an exclusion in Windows Security for Batman Arkham Knight. So you go to Windows Security, you go Virus and Threat Protection, Virus and Threat Protection Settings, Manage Settings, scroll down, go to Exclusions, Add or Remove Exclusions, and you need to add Batman AK.exe, which, again, uh, it's going to be in your Arkham Knight folder in binaries Win64, and you just need to add AK.exe to the exclusion list. I've never had to do this for any other program. As you saw, my list is otherwise empty. But now, when we click play, it may take a minute to launch. When I did this, uh, Arkham Knight immediately downloaded an update. And it was a weird update. Like, it showed an update in the Steam download list, but it didn't show any size or anything. Which makes me think it was some kind of pre-configured uh, shader cache file. And it was a long download. It took like 10 minutes. I mean... Relatively speaking, for shader cache download, that's a long download. Um, but after it completed, I ran the game. And I'm going to show you this as soon as it boots, because uh, it's still loading up here. I ran the game, and I the frame rate was still still had a few drops here and there, but it was nowhere near the problems I had before, which means Windows was causing some problems uh, scanning everything the EXE was doing, I guess? I have no idea. There we go. just kind of bizarre to me that uh, Windows would call this... I mean, I know Windows is has a lot of issues for stuff, but usually it gets out of the way of games. That's the main one of the main reasons to use Windows these days on PC is because it's a gaming operating system and they have so much compatibility with so many different things. But here we are, most of the stuff is on. Um, Gameworks stuff is off. One thing I've found about Intel Arc is it does not like a lot of particles. So we should load in here, and it should be a good 60 FPS. So I'm going to run the Arkham loop again, assuming everything works as it should. And we're at max FPS, which is by default limited to 90. Yep. We are locked at 90. Well, not quite. Here we go. I told you there were some dips and a few stutters. I saw it. And this is on my Speedy NVMe hard drive, M.2 SSD. So there is no question that this is a uh, hard drive slowdown. It's not. But that's this is pretty crazy to me that Windows was actually causing this much of a problem. Here I was thinking, uh, thinking Intel had more driver optimization to do. Intel does have more driver optimization to do, but the issue... Oh, I was running the Tumblr. The issue here is clearly... It's clearly as much with Windows as it was with Arc. I like the tumbler, but there's no turret on it. As if Wayne didn't have enough expensive cars. See, it's not ideal. We're still dipping under 60. And utilization is not as 
as high as it could be, but compared to what it was doing. Now right around here, the last time I ran this, right around here is when it tanked. It stuttered. Didn't tank. To me, this is playable. So Windows was definitely doing something to try to, um, I don't know, protect itself. They're just getting more and more draconian as time goes on. I know I'm going to wind up having to switch over to Linux at some point. It's just a matter of when. I have no idea how Arc performs on Linux. I've heard it's decent if you use, like, the latest... Uh, latest the kernel, I'm going to say me. Arch kernel. But decent is relative. How decent is decent? Am I going to be getting within 10 FPS of this on, on is Linux? Or is it going to be a lot worse? As you see with this, I'll limit it to 60 FPS and uh, you can see there's very few times where it dips below 60, so I'll just be a happy camper. But, uh... This is definitely... This is definitely acceptable, as far as I'm concerned. Intel Arc can now be considered fixed, if you add that exclusion in Windows Security, which is just bizarre to me. Decent smoke effects for not having, uh... Video game work stuff turned on. Okay, let's uh This is like it. Got the with the sleep at the joke of night. Look out! It's the back! Oh, they saw me, huh? Where's some more thugs? Come on, let's get over there. Okay, let's do this, and then we'll call the video. Come on. See, the key to doing well in the Batman combat, and I just failed at it. Is don't be afraid to counter. Counter interrupts your... A lot of people don't want to counter, they just want to left click and power their way through it. You gotta be willing to counter, it doesn't interrupt your streak. So yeah, if you add your ArkhamKnight.exe as an exclusion in the Windows Security, it fixes all the problems on Intel Arc. Or most of them. Who knew? Hope this video was useful to you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up, and thanks for watching.